Welcome to the series Master Composer Elements. Today's video will show you in detail how to create a unique Shopify Image Hotspot. Shopify Image Hotspot turns static images into interactive experiences. It lets customers click on parts of the image to reveal questions or extra content like product, image, or links. For online stores, it's a great way to enrich product images, offer more info, and spotlight key features perfect for complex products or those with many variations. Okay, let's start creating an image hotspot for your online store by Ecomposer right now. First, navigate to Ecomposer Page Builder. In case you haven't installed the app, you can find the link to Ecomposer on Shopify App Store in this video description. Now choose an existing page that you want to add hotspot element. You can also create a completely new page by clicking the Start Building button here. Welcome to Ecomposer Editor. Now, choose a location where you want to place the hotspot element icon. Then drag and drop hotspot element. This is the display of the icon list element when added to the Ecomposer Editor. Now you can start editing the hotspot element or use the templates in our hotspot preset library. Preset is a feature available in almost elements of Ecomposer. It is simply pre-built elements with stunning style and appearance. Details about element preset you can see in the element preset video here. With Hospit Element, you will be provided with many templates to help create your image Hospit simpler than ever. If you want to use Hospit Preset, select a template and click the Use Full Preset button here. In case you don't want to use it anymore, just click that button again. Now, we will configure this element. Let's start with the Content tab. The Content tab is divided into two parts for you to set up, including Image Setting and Hotspot. First, let me go into the image settings. By clicking the change button here, you can change another image by uploading or using free images. Note that please click the select button once you have selected the image you like. If you are not satisfied with the image size, the image size section allows you to edit the image size you previously selected. Additionally, you can display lazy load or caption for hotspot by ticking the options here. Your caption will be displayed next to the photo hotspot. Next is the hotspot section. You can easily drag and drop the hotspot icons displayed on the editor to the correct product location where you want the pop-up to open. When you click on each item here, an editing window will appear, allowing you to edit the items to your liking. First is Type. With this section, you can choose the type of hotspot, including Product, Custom, or Link. And of course, each type will have a different editing window. If you choose Product, you will be able to choose the exact product to display and select fields to show such as Title, Image, Link, Price, and Description. Note that the Title, Link, Price, and Description will show on the live page only. Next is the Button Label option. You can change the label to make your button more attractive. Icon option has the function to help you change the icon of the button. You can choose an icon from Ecomposer's available icon library or download the icon you want. When you click the custom text option, the label option will show up and may help you with the name next to the icon. In addition, you can also adjust the product's HTML tag. And edit the tooltip side which helps you change the item position when you hover over it like right, left, top or bottom. The second item type is Custom. This type allows you to add any image to Hotspot by clicking Choose here. In this second type, you also have the same editing options as the first type such as Button Label, Icon, Custom Text, HTML Tag, and Tooltip Side. In addition, you can make other customizations such as Edit Hotspot's Title and Content. Add links to text and buttons. The third type is Link. You will paste the link you want to point to in the Redirect to section. You can also change the icon and add a label to your hotspot.
Now, we will go to the Design tab. The Design tab consists of many small sections and each section has its own editing function. In the Image section, you can make your image look the way you want, you can easily zoom them in or out, or add special effects when someone hovers over them. In the Hotspot General section, you can change the color, transparency, add shadows, interesting borders, and even round the corners. With Hotspot icons, you can even change the color behind the small icons when someone moves their mouse over them. The rest of the sections all have a variety of functions that help you do a lot of other cool stuff, like choosing different icons and adding additional information like titles, prices, and buttons, etc. Now I'm going to edit my hotspot element a bit. I have completed my image hotspot. How do you feel? To finish editing, I need to select save and publish this page. Alright, I have successfully added a hotspot element to my page. Let's check it out. That is the end of today's video. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe button for our channel. If you don't have a Shopify account, feel free to click on the link we attached in the description below. The newest Shopify exclusive deal is waiting for you. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment or join the Ecomposer community to get quick support and the latest updates. I'm putting the details in the description below. See you next time.